All right, my boys, it's that time of year again. It's been a while since we went around Brooklyn trying a bunch of different pizza spots. So today we're gonna go to five pizzerias all located in different neighborhoods of Brooklyn, starting with Pauly G's Slice Shop in Greenpoint. We'll be hitting Linda Street in Williamsburg, L'Arte de la Pizza in Park Slope, Lucia of Avenue X, and Fazio's in Bushwick. Unlike some of the food tours where I bring you to places that are like 60, 70 years old, today all the pizzerias are gonna be relatively new. Some of them are trendy. And the first Brooklyn Pizzeria up happens to be located in the Greenpoint neighborhood, Pauly G's Slice Shop. Now there are two Pauly G's in Brooklyn. This is our very first time at the Slice Shop in Greenpoint. So we wanted to make it special and get three slices. We got the Hellboy Squared, which is their signature slice. We got the Freddie Prince Squared, and we got the Triangle Sausage. Cause I gotta see how this sausage compares to some of my favorite Italian sausages of all time. The slices came out nice and hot. It's a cool little space here where you can join your friends, family, or maybe even that special lady in your life was some pizza. And I am so hungry because th this is the first pizzeria of the day, so I haven't really eaten much. Let's dig in. First up, we got the Hellboy with the spicy pepperoni, some hot honey, slow-cooked tomato sauce, nice thick square piece. Mmm. Mmm. This Hellboy Squared is their signature slice. It's slow cooked tomato sauce, a dust in a pecorino romano, fresh mozzarella cheese, ezo pepperoni, and a dash of Mike's hot honey, all on this beautiful piece of square bread. It's like SpongeBob square pizza. This is a really thick and chewy square, so when you bite into it, there's plenty of food to bite off. The pepperoni are so good, a little bit charred. I'm not the biggest fan of hot honey on pizza, but it definitely works on this slice. The cheese and the tomato sauce, ooh, picture perfect. Matter of fact, we took some digital photos of these before we even started eating, because we're trying to rack up that photo album with every slice around New York City. Put a little hot pepper. Love the hot pepper. Freddie Prinze was a legendary Puerto Rican comedian who left this world too soon. It's also the name of a slice at Pauly G's. And this is essentially the Hellboy without the pepperoni and the honey. So you got the slow cooked tomato sauce, nice thick square pie, the sesame seed crust, and the fresh mozzarella. Let's go. Mm. Let me tell you, this sesame seed crust is really something special. And it's great to have the tomato sauce and the mozzarella just by themselves. I love pepperoni, but it's also nice to get a cheese slice to kind of let them shine individually. And finally, we got the sausage. These look like pepperoni, but they are Italian sausage, which I guess pepperoni is a sausage anyway. And in Italy, they don't really do pepperoni from what I hear. Let's try this sausage pizza from Pauly G's Slice Shop. Mm. 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 So right off the bat, obviously this is a much thinner slice. It's not very crispy, it's actually pretty floppy. Not a lot of crust. The sausage itself is pretty smoky and the cheese and the sauce on here definitely tastes much different from the square slices. But I like that. This is more of a traditional New York slice right here, just with the sausage instead of a pepperoni. On the underside, you see you got a nice char there, not a whole lot of crust. So you can eat most of this slice without having to feel guilty that you're throwing away the crust. Mm. Picking an early favorite, I gotta go with the Hellboy Square. The sausage one is cool. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it either, so. Pizza's good pizza, right? Manja, manja. Well, we got lucky when we got here because we didn't have to wait quite as long as the line that came after us. First, we're gonna go with the Hellboy. Have you seen this sesame crust? Whoa. It's dripping hot honey and maybe a little grease, but that's the good stuff. First thing I tasted was the spicy pepperoni, and then I got hit with the hot honey. So maybe that's the spicy, I don't know. 
The sauce is super flavorful. I love the square shape, and it's actually got like a fluffy kind of bread. Crust? Bread. I like bread, so. 10 out of 10 slice. And what I really love about places like Pauly G's is that all the pizzas are on display behind the glass cases so you can really see what you want to order before you go up and order. Less pressure at the cash register. All right, Linda Street Pizzeria in Williamsburg is the next stop in our Brooklyn pizza crawl. And what I love about Linda Street is that they're always busy. So expect to wait in a long queue. They don't have as much seating as Pauly G's. They got a little outdoor shed and a little bit of counter space inside. So more than likely, you're gonna find yourself like this, standing on the sidewalk with a couple of slices in your hand and you just gotta devour them while they're nice and hot. Because they're always busy, they're constantly churning out fresh pies and they do the old school Italian methods. So it's less of a New York style pie and more of that Italian influence brought into it as evidenced by all the options on their menu like spicy salami, burrata right here, and the anchovy, which is my personal favorite slice right here. Little pro tip on that one. Now, don't let the people fool you. This is an overhyped pizza. It is worth the wait, in my opinion. Anyway, it's time to eat some pizza. So this one right here, nice and thin. Got some basil, got the little anchovies on top. Nice char on that crust. Mmm. Mmm. First bite, got a nice chunk of that anchovy. Bro, let me tell you, that is some pungent, powerful, potent flavor. Mix it with the sauce and the cheese. Ooh, it's such a great combination. Now the burrata is for Nerissa, but I will take a tiny bite to let y'all know how it is. I'm gonna take a bite from the side so I can get a little bit of burrata. Mmm. That's a nice slice because you're combining different temperatures. The slice itself is nice and hot, but the burrata is cold from the fridge. On the bottom there, you got a nice char to that crust. The anchovies, are really packed with flavor. That's why there's only two per slice. If they put more than two anchovies on a slice, you might find yourself with a permanent need for Altoids. Mm. Mm. They make these pies fresh all day long and they use the best of the best ingredients. So it's definitely one of my recommended spots. Mm. Super crispy. We rode 45 minutes on the Q train to get out to Sheep's Head Bay, Brooklyn, so that we could stop at Lucia of Avenue X. We got some mozzarella sticks, some garlic knots, and of course, a couple of slices of their famous pizza, the Sicilian square with a lot of sauce, the basil, and we got the pepperoni with jalapeno, also with a lot of basil. Pepperoni, jalapeno with some basil on it, hot out the oven, let's go. Mm. Mm. Impossibly thin pizza crust, nice and fat at the end. Crispy, and I believe they put a little bit of hot honey on this as well, together with the spiciness of the jalapeno, the meaty saltiness of the pepperoni, and that tomato sauce. It's an incredible slice. It looked good, and that's why I ordered it. Mm. This is the one that I really loved when I saw it. The Sicilian slice, nice and pillowy thick. Almost like a deep dish pizza over here out in Brooklyn. Mm. Mm -hmm. The bottom layer is super crispy and thin. Above that, soft, pillowy, little chewy. So much sauce on top. A tomato flavor, very sharp, excellent. You could tell they use fresh ingredients here. Something about the square slices, they're really just coming out on top today. Mm. Wow. Mm. There's a 10 out of 10 slice for sure. I right, try one of the garlic nuts.
うん<笑>マッチョレラスティック。チェアス。なるほど、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。I was just hoping and praying during the long drive over here that this was going to be a good pizza. So let's go. Oh, did not expect that. It has hot honey. Real good. It's like taking a bite of a pills. What did I say? Oh. If the Pillsbury Doughboy were a pizza, this would be it. It is just as fluffy as you would imagine poking the Pillsbury Doughboy's little belly. Day two of the top five Brooklyn pizzerias that should be on your radar in the new year. Yesterday was all about Lucia of Avenue X. Very friendly there. They were pretty happy that we were filming for YouTube. So hopefully, if they're watching this right now, they will give us some free pizza. We also had Lindustry, which always comes through, and Pauly G's Slice Shop, which was our first time there. And I gotta say, we will definitely be back. It's a dreary late fall day, a little bit of rain, a little bit of wind, but. Not gonna stop two pizza lovers from scouring Brooklyn to try all the pizza pies in this borough. Find ourselves out in Park Slope, Brooklyn. This is a very popular neighborhood close to Prospect Park. We're thinking about getting a little condo so we can overlook the greenery. You know what I mean? Take Rowdy for his daily walks out in Prospect Park. Now we got a couple of more pizzerias to try. If you are enjoying this, bro, come on. Don't hate, subscribe. The Arte de la Pizza in Park Slope specializes in both New York style pizza as well as Roman style pizza. So, you know, we had to get a little bit of each. We got the Brooklyn style, just plain slice. We got a spicy salami, and we got the Roman style with potatoes, aka papas. We got them nice hot out the oven. Everything's on display in a beautiful glass case. It's a small little storefront right here on Fifth Avenue in Park Slope, Brooklyn. First, I'm gonna try the plain cheese slice in honor of Brooklyn, New York. The one that started it all in the 1800s, I'm assuming. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Hey, they told me now that I'm in New York, I gotta take big boy bites in honor of this big apple. That is a quintessential New York slice. Just cheese on it, melty. The bottom's got that cornmeal consistency. Easily foldable, nice and hot, which is how you gotta enjoy these slices. With that said, I'm gonna dive right into the spicy salami. Looks like this one has a little bit of fresh mozzarella and a generous helping of that spicy salami. So here we go. Mmm, that's crispy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. The texture of this slice is almost identical to the plain slice, but that spicy salami really is the star of the show on this one. It's not super spicy where you're gonna need a glass of milk or something like that. Initially, I got a nice crispiness from biting into the pie, but then there was a little bit of softness. It's not a super thin pie, it's kind of in the middle between a pan and a super thin New York style. I really like this slice. We made some good selections today, I'm telling you that. Now, finally, we're gonna try the Roman style pizza. It's nice and light. If you've ever been to Bonchi in Rome or Chicago, this will be very familiar to you. It's got some potatoes and maybe some oregano. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm about to take a bite and find out. Mmm. Mmm. I can hear the crunch from here. Mmm. Now, compared to the New York style slices, this one is super light. Does not flop at all. Very, very crispy, airy dough. You can see the 
air bubbles. It's almost like a focaccia style bread. The potatoes and cheese on top make a perfect combination. It's like getting a little helping of Thanksgiving potatoes, but on your Brooklyn pizza. They got a Sicilian pepperoni, they got a meat lovers, they got all kinds of slices and pizzas to choose from here. You can get the whole pie to go or you can stay in like us with the three slices. They also have some panettone and some gelato. So I don't know, is it dessert time or is it just about the pizza today? Yo, we are back in Bushwick on Nicobaca Avenue to try Fazio's Sicilian Pizzeria and Rosticeria. Even though we live in Bushwick, this is our first time at Fazio's. Reminds me of a dog, I know. We got three of their slices today. New York style has fresh mozzarella, two Sicilian, one with pepperoni, one with ricotta cheese, and mushrooms. Bro, I ain't gonna sit here and let it get cold. I'm gonna dive straight into this pizza. I'm really, really curious about this mushroom Sicilian pizza pie. It's got mushrooms. As a Fisher Price first motorcycle passes by, I'm really curious about this mushroom Sicilian. There's some ricotta cheese, some spinach, I believe, and some fresh fungi. Cheers. Mmm. We have had a lot of pizza in the last two days. This is our first slice with ricotta cheese and it is a nice change of pace. Extremely creamy and that blend of ingredients makes for a very unique piece of pizza. Let's go ahead and try the Sicilian pepperoni. You can see these are the roni cups, which we really love because they get a little pool of pepperoni juice on the inside. First thing you notice about the Sicilian slice is it's pretty light, also very thick for all my deep dish pizza fans out there. I know. Let's try the Sicilian pepperoni from Fazio's. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Wow. Mmm. All right, boys, we can all agree that everybody loves pizza, but when it comes down to it, every single person is gonna have their specific preferences. When I bit into this slice, I instantly knew it's one of my favorites of all time here in Brooklyn. Perfect consistency, that pepperoni and sauce go together like Tom and Jerry. This is a phenomenal slice of pizza. This is a more traditional piece of pizza. I am really loving the Sicilian pie here. Mm. It's really crispy, super light, phenomenal blend of cheeses here. I wonder if this is Ezo pepperoni. Let's go ahead and try the New York style with the fresh mozzarella. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Nice dollop of sauce right here. That fresh mozzarella is always a winner. Nice and thin, crispy. Let's try that crust. Mm, it's a bouncy, chewy bite. Yo, this is a great pizzeria. A little bit underrated. I've not heard anybody talk about Fazio's. Definitely put it on your list. Fazio's also serves up pasta dishes, sandwiches, and Italian nights. But of course, you know, the star of the show is that pizza, starting with the Sicilian. I'm glad we tried two of the different Sicilians. They also have a grandma pie. I mean, these places are just iconic. But when you really got a hunger for that Italian food, especially that pizza, you know? That's why we're in Brooklyn, because that's all the best pizzas right here in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Delicioso. 